Hi you guys, so today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Barbie Extra. I don't know the number, but it, it will be in the title. So let's take a look at her. I took off her jacket so we can get a better, closer look at her and see how she's made. Um, this doll in particular, I did have to snap in her joint right here because it wasn't snapped in all the way. Apparently they have pegs like Monster High that just snap in basically. So um, we're gonna take a close look, up, look we're gonna take a look at her up close and personal. Hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's take a look at the, at the doll, you know, without her jacket or things like that, just to see what you're actually getting for your money. Um, it's really, really cute, you guys. I will say that, okay? Really, really adorable. She's got huge lips. She's got a very, you know, nice set of eyes. She looks very realistic to me, like her eyebrows and everything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but she looks very, very realistic. And she doesn't look like she's cartoonish or anything like that. It looks like a real person. Which is where Barbie's like, eh, about like, I feel like she should look like a doll and not like a real person, but that's what they're doing nowadays. She's got these huge, like, Hollywood hair Barbie earrings. Like, this is crazy huge. I like this because it reminds me of the old Barbies that used to be. Does it come out? I'm going to pull on it. No, it's attached. So this is pegged in. Um, There's her jewelry right here. It's a choker with a little heart necklace, basic tank top, basic skirt. The fry bag is weird. Um, it's kind of snaps it in the back. It doesn't open or anything like that. This feels like a really durable, like nylon. And this is like a stretchy spandexy tube top thing happening. But this feels like a really, really hard um, pressed nylon. Um, she does have like late um, tube socks or some type of leg warmers. These are also vinyl and everything is attached. I think they do this for kids so that way they don't lose accessories, but you know how that is. But um, it's rubbery. It's a little bit strange. I don't know. I just feel like this is a very strange doll in my opinion. Now, I do not like this right here. They have a part going all the way down, which means it'll probably be in that permanent part. Like even when you take it down, it's still going to be in that part. So you'd have to like take a section of it, put it down and bar wash it just to kind of get it to lay flat like you want it. Because if you take this down, it's going to be the same. I like when just when they have a little bit of part in the, in the on the uh, top and then you can take it down and it looks really pretty. But this is going to be in a permanent part forever, basically. So I don't know. I just I just and that's how I feel about dolls with um, pigtails. I just. I don't know, I'm iffy about them. So if you take this down, it's going to be just like this. You can't, you try to brush it down and it's still going to go to the side because they have that permanent part right here. So her, her hair is not really able to do anything but pigtails if you decide to take it down. So just keeping it real. So this peg joint right here, you guys, I had to snap and it was so weird. I got her like, and I was like, what's going on, girl? She's got a little bit of a gapage right here, which is fine, but you can see like there's a gap right there. You can see it kind of buckling right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can, but it's buckling. It's fine. But I think they're kind of both the same, but this is it. See how this one's more flat and close and this one's like buckling a little bit. It's probably because I had to snap in her joints. Like her joints were not snapped in properly right here. It's apparently it's a peg joint, you guys, like monster heart and I just, and I heard it click. So everything's fine with her, but she's, I mean, she had to be snapped together, poor thing. But everything's removable, you guys. So this is a removable skirt. Obviously, it's a Barbie. A little janky, you know, I don't know. It's it's a, it's a top. That's all I could say. I don't know. Like her, and then her hair, you guys, has a little bit of gel in it. I feel like it's a little crunchy before they crimped it, I feel like. And they have a little bit of product in it. I could feel it. So it's really, really cute. Mine is fully crimped, it looks like, yeah. So all the hair on mine is fully crimped. And I know some people have hair that's somewhat crimped. This one has, she has a full head of crimped hair, which is really strange because I've seen the review on the doll circle and her hair wasn't fully crimped, but this one is, I don't know. Maybe this is a rust job, but I'm so glad that her eyes are like symmetrical, you guys. That's so, so nice to me. Like she looks realistic. Kind of wish she had a little bit more dramatic makeup instead of just a pink lip. I don't know. This is her jacket. Her jacket's really strange, okay? So this is like a vinyl, like, pleather. But it's just like a top layer of pleather. 
in the inside it's just like a um that really nylon her, her whole jacket too is like it's a nylon and this is like a pleather feeling material and they stitched it down right there they did a good job i feel like they could have cut you know this excess material off but you know it's okay that's what they decided to do so this all feels like nylon in the inside like literally and this feels like pleather i don't know it just feels like that sticky um the pencil case almost it feels like that it feels like a pencil case like the plastic pencil cases but it's got a lot a lot of um logos on it of course it's got lots and lots of stuff it is it does have a faux fur thing right here this is really really cute you guys i like the design concept i just feel like it's a lot i just feel like you know they're throwing everything on her as much as possible just to call her barbie extra but this one i feel like i like the purple one better i feel like she's okay like she's cute for once but i mean the purple hair girl for me personally is better let me know your comments and let me know in the comments down below which one you like the best so we have this really cool visor this was snapped on for her life basically it was like kajinkered onto the top of her head for some reason wow look at that you see that that's where the the hair is supposed to be rooted they have like a line where they're supposed to start the rooting at but they started it behind do you see that i don't know if you guys are picking that up but that's a little strange but they give you a guideline on where you're supposed to start and they went way behind but I don't know, it's it's a Barbie, so you know, you don't really see things like that. But I'm showing you right there. They have a clear line on where you're supposed to start, and they went way behind. I don't know. But um they have an ice cream bar that has no function, you guys, and because it has no peg. What they're supposed to do is they're supposed to put like a peg on here so Barbie can actually hold it. This has no function and she cannot hold it, not even in a bag or anything like that, but it's an ice cream bar. Maybe you're supposed to hold it up to her face. I don't know. Just a really, really strange doll to design concept is this. I don't like this at all. This has no color. It's just cheapy dollar store. You know, this is something that you can find when you buy a dollar store doll. That's like four or five dollars. They usually throw these really cheap accessories. That's what this reminds me of. It's all one color and no different colors. You think they would put a little bit of detail, like maybe the boombox black, or just make it a little bit more detailed than what it is. Um, of course, she has an animal. I don't know, the animal's a little bit, like I would have rather the boombox be a little bit more detailed. This is removable, they have pegs. Mm, is it? No, it's not in my line. Yeah, it's removable, so. This actually comes off. This is her roll of skates and things like that. This also comes off. They have a little rubbery thing in the back. I don't know, you guys, it's just a really strange doll to me, but this is her bag that has no function either. It doesn't open, which would have been nice, you know, having the popsicle and being able to put the popsicle in the bag, but it doesn't open, does it? No, there's no function. There's a sticker on the front, and it's very dollar store, everything like the accessories I find, in my opinion. They're just really cheap accessories. I don't know. This doll, I feel like, got gypped. But she is a really, really cute doll. But, you know, you get them, sometimes you get them little lines right here. That's, that, I've never seen that before. That's crazy. But you don't really notice it until you sit there and you look at her. But at least her eyes are symmetrical. So I'm happy that they're fixing the eye situation. Because that's been going on for years. People have been having a look at stuff. But these dolls seem to be more like they pay attention to as far as the eyes are concerned. But... She's a functioning doll. She works very, very well. And again, I had to snap in her joints right here. So you may have to do that when you get her. Check her joints and all you gotta do is push and it'll go in. So you see that? I guess it wasn't pushing all the way, but it will go in, you guys. It's not hard to do. You just gotta take it and push and make sure that all of her joints are connected for 24, what is it, 24.99 for a Barbie doll. And you have to check her and make sure her joints are connected and everything's well. But I don't know. I feel like when, and then when they put the kajinkers in the back, it will mess up the hair because you're going to, you're going to have three little plastic snap tabs that you're going to have to pull out. And of course it's going to ruin the hair completely. So you have to redo that. So that'll be fun, isn't it? But I mean, she's cute. Other than that, you know, I feel like I have, I have a lot to say about her, but she's cute. But I just feel like they could have done a little bit better, you know, quality wise and things like that. Ruining the hairline where it's supposed to be at right here. Making sure the joints are nice and clicked in and not, you know, halfway clicked in. 
But I just feel like she's a little cheapy. She's a little bit thin to her body itself, I find. It feels like, I don't know how, how to explain it. Like, it feels like a budget Barbie. Really, really cheap feeling, thin, hollow plastic. Like, it's even more hollow than the fashionistas. But her functionality is okay. But I just feel like she's not thick. She's very, very hollow as far as the legs are concerned. So... So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos. Bye.